Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about the 2018 NFL Draft Class, specifically wide receiver Cortland Sutton in terms of his analytics profile. Now, I've already done a video on Cortland Sutton when it comes to his production data, but since the combine is over and he's tested and we have pretty much all the information that we need to project Cortland Sutton in terms of his overall profile, that's what this video is going to be. Uh, so we're going to look at everything. We're going to look at his production data, his athleticism data, and I'm also going to give you an interesting NFL comparison uh, that he compares to as a overall upside type uh, perspective. Uh, if you're new to the channel, you're new to the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. Uh, so again, if you're not familiar with market share data, if you're not familiar with what an explosive or body strength score is, or a speed score, or flexibility score, all that information will be in the description. So, starting with Cortland Sutton's production data, something that you should already be familiar with if you've seen past videos, uh, had a 90.69 overall score uh, when it comes to his passing yards market share to production, which pretty much hits every single bottom and threshold when it comes to five-time All-Pro, three-time All-Pro, three-time Pro Bowl, and long-term starter. And then, of course, when you look at the averages at the position, he doesn't quite hit the averages. He's kind of below average when it comes to the average for all pro player, but definitely is above average what Pro Bowl players typically score in terms of market share data and is also above average uh, in terms of what average starters score. So again, from a production standpoint, Cortland Sutton, his market share data is pretty fantastic. Uh, again, one of the more productive wide receivers in this draft class from a uh, market share perspective. Uh, and then, of course, you get to his athleticism data, which, of course, happened at the Combine. He had an 83.08 explosive or body strength score, 70.46 speed score, and a 97.44 flexibility score. Uh, based on my data since the 1999 NFL Draft class, uh, the vast majority of wide receivers need at least a 54 or higher athleticism trait. And it could be e any trait. It could be explosion. It could be speed. It could be flexibility. Uh, the only wide receivers to not hit these thresholds and become multiple all-pro slash pro bowl players were Chad Johnson and Jarvis Landry. Uh, so again, only two wide receivers have not hit 54 or higher athleticism traits since the 1999 NFL draft class to go on to become all pro slash pro bowl wide receivers. So if you're projecting a guy to become a pro bowl wide receiver, or all pro wide receiver, they better be 54 or higher. I'll just say that much. And when it comes to Cortland Sutton, he is 54 or higher in every single category, explosion, speed, and flexibility. In fact, this flexibility again is in the 90 plus percentile. So excellent. In terms of a data perspective, the best comparison from Cortland Sutton from a data perspective is actually Alshon Jeffrey. Now, Alshon Jeffrey is a better version of Cortland Sutton, and this is actually the chart right here. It's comparing Cortland Sutton, Alshon Jeffrey in terms of uh, market share data, arm length, hand size, explosion, speed, and flexibility. And as you can clearly see, Jeffrey has better passing yards market share production. Jeffrey also has better speed for his size, but they're eerily similar in terms of just hitting right at that threshold you know again Cortland Sutton is not that far away from Alshon Jeffrey in terms of his market share production not that far away in terms of arm length not that far away in terms of hand size Cortland Sutton's actually more explosive and more flexible than, Je than Jeffrey from a uh, overall perspective it's just that Sutton is a little slower than Jeffrey but the bottom line is is this would be the go-to comparison uh, for these players because they share a lot of similarities in terms of size, a lot of similarities in terms of athleticism, and a lot of similarities in terms of overall production. And I think when you look at Cortland Sutton, I think his combine testing, I think all the other sort of things help solidify him as a first round wide receiver. I think he has a potential to be a number one wide receiver in the right team, in the right situation. Uh, there are some question marks based on his lackluster 2017 season because he didn't follow up uh, 2016 with a fantastic 2017, but I do think there is a, the sky's the limit for this guy when it comes to his overall production, his overall athleticism, and of course his overall future. And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn at wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Gemetrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video as well with anybody that you know. Uh, hit that notification button so that you're always reminded when another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.